qualification match. About to make his way to the ring. Standing six foot eight, weighing in excess of over 350 pounds, he is the monster of it was last Wednesday, right here at the Asylum, at the conclusion of a tag team match where both Abyss and Sabu were involved, we witnessed a physical beatdown. Abyss used his torture rack and then his shock treatment backbreaker before putting Sabu through a table. Tonight, two of the most out of control and unpredictable men to ever step in a wrestling ring are set to do battle. It's no disqualification and it's falls count anywhere in the Asylum. Opponent from Pompeii. This is Sabu. For months, Don, we've seen that Sabu has been distracted by the words, by the messages, by the mind games, and by the challenges of Raven. Tonight, Sabu cannot afford to fall into the trap of having anything less than 100% focus, 100% concentration on a six foot eight, 350 pound monster. Boy, you said it right there, Mike Tanay. I mean, Raven's not even been here and he's able to get into the head of Sabu. But if he is distracted for any second of any thoughts of, of Raven or what he might do or, or any messages he might send, he's gonna get it from Abyss because this monster has a one track mind and that mind right now is set definitely right on Sabu. Wow, I'm surprised that Sabu tried to overpower Abyss here in the early going but now able to fight back with a series of rights. I think it's a smart move by TNA management. Anticipate just how difficult the referee's job is going to be, making this no disqualification and falls count anywhere. Sabu from the middle rope. Could it really be any other way? Look at that as Sabu caught it. You thought he was going to be able to turn the hurricane around, and that just shows you how strong the Miz is. Absolutely overpowered him, didn't he? But Sabu used his momentum right there and was able to bring Abyss right outside of the ring. And what's he getting? Oh, there he's got it. Well, it's an extension of Sabu, the chair. First choice of weapon for Sabu, the steel chair. One shot to the back. Ow, there's another one. Well, he's going to have to, you know, it's no disqualification. So he can use anything that he can get a hold of. And that's what you've got to do right here is, here he goes. Yeah. Going to take the chair. Is he going to fly? Yes, oh, right man. here in front of us. Did you see how high he got? I'm telling you what, that's what he had to do. He had to use the force from coming off such an extension off the top of the rope he was able to catch a bit straight that's on right That's exactly there. what he did, springing off that top rope, crashing down with the double sledge lookout. Right here next to the broadcast table, just to the right of us, the exchange between the two, right hands, and it looks like Abyss all of a sudden is getting the better of it. Oh, nice punch right there by Sabu, but this has all of a sudden just become a brawl, and we knew it would be. That's why they made it no disqualification, because these guys, they don't have any concept of getting back in the ring once they get out brawling out in the crowd. Right, that's why I said what a good move it was, almost a preemptive strike by management to make that kind of a decision, make it no DQ, make it false count anywhere, and then just turn these guys loose. Well, Abyss has gone out of camera range, now coming back in and... What's he got? I don't know he, oh, he's got a table, it looks like he sure does. As Sabu goes over, tries to give him a few blows to deter him, but Abyss, again, he's just got that one-track mind, and he's focused on the table right now, and it's going to take a lot to stop him. Abyss going to try and get that table in position. Sabu back up. Sabu able to rifle off a couple of right hands before Abyss drops him down again, now positioning the table, but he turns his back on Sabu. You know, we've seen this from Abyss in the past. Once he gets his mind set, Don, to do something, it's almost as if he has tunnel vision. Yes. He sure does, and then, I mean, he, he'll stop at nothing till he accomplishes his goal, no matter how small it might be. And now he goes up and he knows he's got his table set up. Now it's time to put Sabu through it. Big clubbing blows to the back by Abyss. Has Sabu on the defensive and definitely in trouble in this no disqualification match. Now he's got him throttled. I'll tell you what, though, you look at the sides of Sabu and you think there's no way he'd stand a chance, but Sabu is... Well, they don't call him suicidal, homicidal, and genocidal for a reason. This guy has no fear. You saw that Abyss was going to try and choke slam Sabu from the ring entrance ramp down to the table, but Sabu able to stop him and able to fight back. Oh, he puts him through the table. That was amazing by Sabu. I'll tell you what, oh man, and I believe Abyss's head may have hit the rail there too. Did you see Sabu? He almost fell back through the stage back there and able to get up and just use his momentum and oh! Oh! Remember, oh, count anywhere. Here's two. No. Well, I'm glad 
you reminded me of that there because I wasn't expecting to go for the pin. Smart move by Sabu. He almost ended it right here. And just as Abyss gets back up to his feet, he's able to connect with a wild right. Going to try and get some distance here between himself and Sabu so that he can recuperate. Sabu follows up, catches him with a glancing right. Oh, There's another one right, right to the jaw. I'll tell you what, look at him. He's just bringing these blows in one after another. Boy, let's we see if we can see that table smash yeah, again, let's, Mike. let's do it. Let's take another look as we see two steel chairs put into the ring. Let's take another look. Oh. oh. Right into the rail, and oh man, you see Sabu grabbing chair after chair, Tossing smashing chairs. it down an abyss. Wow, six eight three fifty going directly through the table, chair shot to the back by Sabu, but Abyss is able to reverse it and send him shoulder first into the steel ring post. I'll tell you what, think about it. Most people think, oh, oh, oh right into the steel pole. Sabu able to duck out of the way. The right hand of Abyss makes contact with the steel. Again, remember the extra impact points on the six-sided ring, two of which are those extra steel ring posts as we see Sabu winching a chair between the top and middle rope. Took him a little too long there as Abyss was able to get into the ring, and now he's got him. Oh, no. Torture rack, first step. Usually the second is that shock treatment, sit-down backbreaker, but Sabu able to avoid it. Oh, man. Waffled him. One chair shot. Big man still standing. Well, the guy's already gone through a steel tape. I mean, gone through a chair. Hit to the hit the steel rail. I mean, this monster oh. is unbelievable. But now, how many blows can he take? Chair shot after chair shot delivered by Sam. Oh. Oh, and then the leg drop. Uses the chair right there and leaves his weight to land on it. And here's two. No. no. This just flung him back. Oh. Broke the, the chair. chair. Look at it. Steel chair has just been twisted because of the impact of those blows from Sabu to Abyss. And now, headed to the top. Oh, he, good move by he, Abyss he right there. He committed himself. Sabu commits himself. Abyss able to cut him off. And now the advantage goes in Abyss's favor. He's got the steel chair. Sabu in the middle rope. Look at oh. this. He caught him. Oh. Sends it right back at him. Smash mouth time. Steel chair right into What's the face. What's he going to do now as Sabu goes up with the chair in hand? Whoa, he's doing everything in his power to take out Abyss. And this guy just takes him shot after shot, and somehow he's still in there. And you can see that Sabu in trouble as well. After crashing down with that blow, he's feeling the after effects as well. The delay in the pin is maybe the difference in only getting a two count on Abyss. I'll tell you what, he's wearing down Abyss a little bit, though, as you saw Abyss try to throw Sabu off there. And he was just able to, to get Sabu off of him to get his shoulder up, but it didn't seem like he had the strength, but Sabu is in total control right here. Sabu oh, left. good move, though, by Abyss. Well, that float over, float over move, it may work one time. Oh, oh God. Didn't work the second time, and boy, did Sabu pay. The steel chair that Sabu had wedged between the ropes. Abyss is able to take Sabu and drive him head first right into the chair. Now he's got him up. Step one, the torture rack. Oh, look at him just grinding down on the neck as he pulls. Oh, oh. oh! There's the shock treatment. Part two of the backbreaker from the torture rack into the shock treatment move. And let's see if Abyss can put him away. Oh, that's got to be it right there as you see Sabu. 350 one, on top of him. Two. two. Oh, Sabu able to fight it out. Abyss left him an opening. And Sabu was able to extend his arm and connect with the punch and stop the count of the referee. It's almost like Abyss just didn't put his full weight on him there, Mike. And if he would have, it would have been over. Steel chain now. And it's no disqualification. Steel chain is legal. Abyss brought it to the ring. Sabu's grabbed one end of it. I don't know that Abyss is aware of it. Look at it right here. He's wrapping the legs of Abyss. Great move by Sabu. He just outsmarted the monster. Yes. Well, you talked about how Abyss gets so focused on something, and he was just focused on the chain in hand. When he paid attention, his Abyss uses it as a punching glove. Yeah, Sabu wrapping that steel chain around his hand, drives it into the head of Abyss. Going to spring off the ropes, watch the chair, spring to the top. Yes. He caught the moonsault. Now he's going to go right back to the offensive. Chair, oh, shot. Oh, just slams it right down on him. I mean, we've seen some vicious matches tonight. Here he goes again. Oh, good move there by Abyss. Threw the chair right into him before Sabu could get his balance, and it cost Sabu out of time to ring. Super quick reactions on the part of Abyss, because the minute that Sabu made contact with those ropes, Abyss was there to catch him from behind. And you see Sabu 
out on the arena floor here at the Asylum on hands and knees. What's going now is you see him as he's trying to get away again. Falls count anywhere, so they don't have to be in the ring. Is Abyss now going after it? Yeah, this is the strategy. This should be the game plan for Abyss. Follow him out to the floor. Use things like that steel ring post. Use things like this steel safety rail. Whoa! Just threw him right over the rail right there. Tossed him right over the safety rail and right into the first row of seats. And now, big man is going to follow up. You see Sabu just trying to get away. Clear a path nice here at the asylum. Up. Two of the most unpredictable and out of control men to ever step foot in a wrestling ring. Well, they've stepped foot out of the ring now, and they're battling in the asylum. To get a perspective of how big Abyss is, look at him around normal people around the ring. I mean, he's just absolutely a monster. Abyss able to take Sabu down, and well, we talked about it earlier. This focus, this tunnel vision, he heads to the back. Another table as he pulls out here. Dragging a table from the back of the asylum. And again, that tunnel vision comes back to haunt him because Sabu stops him. Sabu getting up there and just putting the blows and now setting Abyss on it. What's he going to do? He's going up top. Is he going to come off the balcony? He's in the bleacher. Oh, he does. He catches him right there on the table. This could be it. Yeah, you're right. Falls count anywhere if Sabu has the presence to go for the cover. Caught the leg drop, driving Abyss through the table. What's he doing now? He's getting another table. And Sabu putting the table in position and already weakened Abyss. I guess he wants to finish him off right here as again he sets him up and he's going up top again. Caught him with the leg drop, first from the bleacher area, now headed up to the perch up near the oh, balcony. Away the balcony! Oh my god! Here goodness. he goes! from the second story here at the asylum and just as he went to the top you saw that the lights have been not what's going on someone get some lights on i don't know remember the mind games last week when this happened from raven oh is raven gonna send him another message what's going on here you see the flash wait a minute there's raven he's back Raven's back and he's got it. That's a noose. He's hanging him there with a noose. He's got it. Oh, Raven! He sends him right there on top of the table. Drop down from the from the second floor from the balcony here. Raven had that noose wrapped around his head. Oh! And then finishes it off with the cootie crawl right there through the table. Drops the elbow. Look at this. He threw this on top. That's it. That's it. It's a win. It's no need to. It's all count anyway. the challenge issued by Raven to Sabu, and Raven returns to the asylum and makes an impact.